What's up guys? So unfortunately we weren't able to get out car camping this week. Um, so what we're going to be doing today is Mav is one of my favorite creators, one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, he's the one who obviously inspired me to start the channel. We are going to be trying to recreate and follow his recipe and make his gourmet ramen. So I'm super excited to get ahead of the store now. Uh, I'm going to take you guys with me. So let's go get everything we need. The main ingredients. Let's see, where is it at? Here we go. Okay, so we just got back from the store. We were able to grab everything that we needed. So I'm gonna grab the GoPro and throw it on and start cooking. Can I have that? Okay, so the one thing I do remember that he said is you want two cups of chicken for every cup of beef or vice versa. So he eyeballed it. So I guess I'll eyeball it as well. Looks about good. Let's go ahead and get that boiling or warming up to poach your egg. I know you'll probably laugh at this, but uh, he used just a measuring cup to poach his egg. So I'm also going to use a measuring cup to poach my egg and see how that goes. I've never poached an egg before, so I guess we'll see how it turns out. Oh yeah, I definitely failed at that.
So obviously this is already a pre-shredded rotisserie chicken. Because I noticed that they had this at the store and I feel like this is a lot easier. That looks absolutely yummy. Look at that, just enough space. Oh no, let's let's try it. Looks it looks absolutely delicious. I'm gonna be real honest with you. Wow, it is delicious. Let's try some of my failed poach egg. Not bad. Tastes good. I'm actually very surprised. Yeah. Uh, Gourmet ramen. I think they're doing yard work. Now, tell me if I'm crazy, but does anybody else eat like raw ramen? Like you just get the packet of ramen and then you crush it up and put the seasoning inside. Now I know I'm not the only one that does it because I had a lot of friends that did it, but yeah, I don't know if that's normal. Is that normal? I mean, it's good to me. It's dry. Right? I know it's like a good backpacking meal if you need fast, fast food or fast snack on the way, you know, so. This new stove that I got, this cooking stove, actually worked very, very well. And this table, I got this table from, from Big Sporting Goods, and it's actually a very, very sturdy, very good table to take while camping. Super nice. Breaks down super fast. You put it up super fast. Easy cleanup. Super, super cool. So with the kitchen setup kind of now done, that's going to be my kitchen setup, obviously, for car camping. That kind of makes everything pretty much complete now. I have uh, everything that I need for a full overnight, obviously, if I want to cook. And I feel like it, it's actually pretty a pretty decent cook system and kitchen system. Um, I, I would say that that was one of the kind of the first issues I had on my first night car camping, which I'll link right here, um, was I wasn't able to cook anything. Obviously, I just had food right away. Um, I didn't have a place or anything to cook with. So yeah, if you want to check that video out, it's right there. Uh, I'll make sure to catch you guys in the next one and peace.